Welcome to West of Tulsa. I'm C.J. Ward. We are broadcasting from Ventura, California. We have a full house today. Everybody's in house. We got Beth, we got Helm, Dan, Gabe, nope. and a couple guests here. We have a couple firsts. First Brazilian, right? Yep. George Mayer. Yes. The owner of Spot 44 out of Thousand Oaks. Thank you guys for inviting me. No, we're, we're very happy Appreciate to have it. you had. We, we've actually had your rat rod on our social media, so yes. people have seen that maybe. So cool. And Craig is our first return guest. Oh, I'm so we've happy. never had a return guest before. <laughs> we like you enough to come yeah. back. Oh, uh, thank you. We had so much fan mail after your show. We still, uh -oh. we still yeah. haven't been able to open all those two comments. You know, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, I want to see the comments. <laughs> it's really laid back. but <laughs> you know, And, and before weird. we get too deep into this, I do want to let people know we've got a tip line that you can go to our website, westtulsa.com, fill out the tip line form, and send it in. We'd love to have you in studio. The reason I'm saying this now is because I don't think anybody's ever made it to the end of one of our shows. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I always tell everybody about the tip line at the end of our show. They can go long. So I'm doing it at the top now. <laughs> yeah. We've done some two-hour shows lately, so they yeah, can I know. It's a long time, but... All right. So, George, Craig, welcome. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks Thank for you. having us right. again. Thanks for having again. What would you guys drive to get here? Go ahead. Uh, tell, tell, no, you go first. No, you tell I, I, I cannot. I, 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 I don't want to say what he called my car, but uh, hey, it's a nice car. I'm mean, getting fun, fun. No, the, the nickname. <laughs> oh, no, 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 say it. Say it. Say it. No, I'm not going to tell him that. Say it. Say it. You have to say it. Oh my God, he's driving me every day. Vagina today. Oh, Sounds better. Sounds better to say VG car. Because it can be Victor Golf car, you know. No, yeah. but <laughs> you know when you're coming here, you got to drive a cool car. Tell I know, I know. I'm car. sorry. It's I, not I, even my, noon yet. Uh, oh, my wow. cars are buried at the shop. I have a lot of customer cars. I have to move in, and I wake up late. This was a long night, and uh, you know. <laughs> but next time, I promise I'm so, going to bring so what, something big and green, maybe. Ooh, now I thought yeah. you would bring that. He's got he's got a military vehicle that's oh, the size ooh. of a house. <laughs> I mean, that's no exaggeration. It is. It is. It's a monster. Awesome. I don't even know how that you drive. Remember. I drove it to the Santa Barbara. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That we we hit a, a clown of bees. Yeah. Uh, Do you remember? Of bees. Oh. With he, the, he, with got, the, he got uh, bees all over his face. And yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. I say, just yeah. let, let that go. Let that go. <laughs> <laughs> We don't got one sting. <laughs> one sting. One. No, not no, one sting. No, all, no one all sting. The all the wildflowers around here. No yeah, one yeah. The no. Why? No. No. Wow. Hey, that, George, that was uh, fun. Hey, George, low, lower your mic a little bit. We can't see your beautiful face. There you go. Right there. Okay. Thank okay. you. There Perfect. Go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Craig, what did you drive? Well, knowing I was going to come here, I pulled out all the stops. I have a 2003 Jaguar XKR. Oh. Now, the only time I've ever seen this car is in your hangar. I've never seen it out on the road. Yeah, because it took, you know, this one, you know, my, again, Mike's dad sold it to me. Oh, again. He did good. Okay. Mark Tauber. Okay. These cars are complicated, and it took three years to recondition. From um, when you bought it? From when I bought it. Okay. To, you know, to pass yeah. smog. Then it didn't pass smog. Mm -hmm. Then this code came up. Then they disappeared. Then we clear the code. Then this one came up. <laughs> Everything. Even the computer module, I had to buy a new one. So gonna, now you got it dialed in now though. Now it's dialed in okay, and yeah. now it is um it's perfect. Did you know all this before you bought it? No, and it's not <laughs> it's no one's fault. This is stuff that just happens with these cars. You know, like it, if you can't get smog, you have to chase from the front of the engine to the rear of the car and what's going on. And you replace everything, and it's still... Tell the different. airplane codes, like a black box. Yeah, <laughs> we, I remember, yeah, we plugged yeah. it in, and we're getting the codes, and it said black box, you know, not functioning. <laughs> and we're like, it's a black box. <laughs> it's it's kind of airplane code. It, it's almost like they probably took a module from a military, oh. you know, plane or something, and it's like, oh, yeah, here's the computer's <laughs> it's just attraction. So if you're ever in a crash, the first thing you're going to look for is the black box. The black box. <laughs> yeah, where's this black, where's yeah, the where's white data recorder? Oh, Are you man. working on this, George? Yeah, I have a few things and audio chains, and uh, we check the codes, and... Uh, yeah, there's certain there's you know again mechanics for everything and well, this did the one, guy the guy up north for the uh, he set up um, no you know what it wasn't it was you it was you it was me oh my god you fixed me I forgot, <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> As you can Pro, tell, they Pro, know each Pro, other. Probably, yeah. he, probably he teased me in that time. I forgot. No, no, no. Actually, because we did send it up north. Yeah. And 
they work their magic. Oh he yeah, sends it back. Well, yeah. So we bring it a friend of mine, the rover guy. Well, yeah, well, and he, uh, my yeah, guy, probably yeah. just cleared the codes. It's like, okay, good to go. Yeah, go <laughs> Craig, you're ready. Yeah. We love Craig. Hey, okay, you guys are talking about you working on his car, but we should say owner of spot 44 thank you so yes. yeah you you yeah. work on yeah last time i was there i think you had two bentley's back to back yeah so you work yeah. on some really nice cars yeah with bentley rolls royce ferraris i got i end up getting i i started the vw because my dad works for the vw company for years and uh mm. stand to audi and vw i had all those uh, companies and um porsche and and I, got, you, I got the softwares in the pack and you had a shop in Santa Monica. It was Santa Monica before for seven years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then before LA five, for five years. years. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So now you're in Thousand Oaks. In Thousand Oaks. Yeah. All right. You want to give anybody the address in case they have a rules they don't know what the heck to do. Twenty six hundred Thousand Oaks Boulevard. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is it through your father that you got into cars and? and yeah, my cars? dad works almost thirty years for the VW company. Yeah. He and, and he's in Brazil. Yeah. He, okay. Yeah, he's in Brazil. Yeah. He's, and, he and born I, in Germany, moved to Brazil, young and. Uh, he started in a DKW. You remember DKW cars, the, the two cycle engines, three cylinder? Dicky W? DKW bought a uh, VW. D DKW. DKW, okay. yeah. The DKW was uh, building cars for World War II, too, and uh, mm. tanks and everything. And, and they become building cars after the war. And he started for that company. VW bought that company and, and extinguished it. Oh, okay. Back in time. Yeah. And, and he, he's the one who started. That's the Audi. The <clears throat> Audi. Is a uh, Audi uh, horse, and uh, it was a is a DKW together. So he's your dad's the one that sent you say the SP two, right? Oh yeah, it's a yeah. good example of just yeah. one of the cars. So his dad lives in in Brazil, yeah. works on cars, yeah. finds really neat cars there, and sends ships them up here to you in the U.S. No, not not How really. Yeah, okay. yeah. The history about the SP two is that my dad brings the SP two, but he got, he drives the car from the office. And he brings that SP2 when they launched the car. I was two years old. And he took me for a ride that the same model I got, same year. Oh, wow. And it's when, when I found the car, I guess he has two strokes. His, his walk is, is not good to do. But uh, I forced him to do I already bought the car. But I forced him to go into my friend's house and say, Dad, you need to look at the car. I want to buy it. To see it, and my 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 friend told he has tears in his eyes when he saw oh. the car because it's exactly the same car. Oh. Wow, everything. Oh. Yeah, that's an e car. Yeah, yeah. And yeah that's, that's one that yeah, when yeah. you show up at a car show with that SP two, you yeah, get pretty yeah, good crowd around. Yeah, it. they build only ten thousand six hundred, I think. And uh, hmm. it was it start to SP one. It was unpowered. It was sixteen hundred. They upgrade to seventeen seventy six factory. It's still unpowered, you know. But uh, the VW. Uh, you start the Corrado and kills okay. the SP2. All right. Yeah. Oh. You, go ahead. It's also known as the slowest sports car ever. Exactly. It's the really? sports car. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I would, and, and that you park right next to your rat rod, right? Yeah. 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 You know, that, so one thing I like about George and his collection, it's pretty wild. <laughs> so you've got the rat rod. And hey, why don't you go through the list? So you got a rat rod, which we have posted on our social media. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And one thing Beth likes about that is the... I love everything about that. And I'm not a rat rod person, but your truck I fell in love with when I saw yeah, all the that you've is, done with it. Beth, I'm shocked you know. Yeah. I am. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. shocked I too. thought you would be all rat rod. You know what? The creativity behind it <laughs> oh, and yeah. all the pieces and parts. I want to go through one, the museum right now and bring him metal parts and say... Oh, the, the, one, oh, yeah. one funny thing about the rat rod, when I bought it, I asked my older son, Benny... And I said, Benny, can you help daddy to, to fix the car? And the poor kid, he goes to open the handle and opens the wrong way and he broke the handle. <laughs> and he looked at me like he's scared. I say, Benny, don't worry because we, we, we're going to do something. And I saw a picture of one car, the guy weld the, the wrenches oh, as a door handle. Awesome. And I go over there, look, we're going to make a new one. And we, in that day, we build it and I say, look, thank you for breaking the, <laughs> the oh, door handle. Awesome. Awesome. That is great. Great story. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and well, I'm, I remember one of the first times I saw it, I'm looking at it, and you said, do you know what those are? And he points to the, the, oh, the, hub the hub yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, nah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no clue what those things are. They turned out to be pizza trays. Pizza, pizza trays. Oh, that pizza you trays. bought online. No, no, like this, I asked John, our friend, 
And I say, look, I, I want to cover the wheels because I don't like the way the wheels look. And I, and I, I start to think I'm going to have someone to machine the covers because I saw some red rod, hot rods, they machine an aluminum cover. And, and, and John was thinking, two days, John called me and said, George, I got, your, I got your wheel covers. I said, what do you mean? And he sent me pizza plates. <laughs> What's, what do you mean pizza plates? It's no fits. He measured. I didn't know he measured. He said, look, buy this pizza plate, six bucks each. What? And I bought it, and I bought it there, and it looks looks better than that. Wow. I was paying someone a thousand bucks to machine totally. some wow. wheel caps That's there, right. yeah, and they're kind of burned. Yeah, you can yeah, tell they've been yeah. in the oven. Right. Is it from yeah. coppers or shakies? I have no clue. Oh, you shakies. know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> you know where what what pizza place they're from? Oh no, I, I got it in Amazon. I, <laughs> I, 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 he, he he told me just order, and I order, and when I put it there, and it fits, and I just I just. Drill it, dude. That's yeah. so yeah. cool. What, yeah. what else is unique on that truck that you can tell us about? The shifter. Okay, I went to Brazil and I saw in a in a place by the mountains they sell all the cool stuff for drinks and stuff. And I saw a cow fit, and my ex wife said, "That's nasty. It's a cow fit. That's in a bottle inside <laughs> with a, with a, like a, a tequila something." And I, I like that, and I bring it over, and she always hated it because, wow, well, it's kind of gross, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and when I saw that thing in the garage, and I, and I look at it, I, I, I'm not going to throw that in the trash. And I took the bottle off, and I started to look, and I, put up, I drilled the cow feet, and I put it as my shifter. <laughs> wow. And uh, when you grab the shifter, it's a cow feet. The people <laughs> open the door, and they look at it, and say, what, is that real? I say, yeah. It's a little gross touch in there. It's hair. a real gross touch. And uh, the... <clears throat> The covers is a cow, cow skin, cow is that the cow skin covers the the seats. The tra no, oh. the transmission. The seats oh. is a horse skin. Oh, yeah. And uh, the steering wheel, the guy did it. He he uh, he weld the chain. and made the steering. You have to drive with gloves because that thing hurts. That oh yeah. If you, if you, oh. It's and, wild. It's wild. Yeah, and. Uh, and hey, every, every, everything, the, the nice thing about that car, everything I, I go in this, I, I go in the trash and the metal I throw in away, I, I, I not throw metal away anymore. I look at it with something and I put it in the corner. Just, just in case. Just, yeah. uh, it's something I can use. Just it. in case. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you've made, you've taken some long trips in that. Right. Well, yeah. Uh, Vegas? I, did you say you went to Vegas? No, no. I want to go this year to the big, oh, uh, big uh, rat rod show is oh, okay. uh, in the country is, uh, I think it's April. I want to go. We should go. Do you have a good chiropractor? Uh, all the huh? Do you have a good chiropractor? <laughs> yeah. How's your back? Yeah. Oh, no. It's, uh, that thing to re you, you mentioned that. That thing is a wild to drive. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. Everyone I've been in is yeah, like, no, oh, my gosh. In no. 10 minutes, I'm like, no. my back is Ima yeah. Imagine the front suspension from 40s, flip it upside down yeah. to lower it. Yeah. And, and that's it. You, you, everything works in the opposite it's way. All, it's all solid. Yeah. And oh, it's, wow. it's a wild. And you, there's you, no I, environmental I, I arrive with what, <laughs> I arrive with a. I ride that with a 25, 28 PSI and the tires supposed to be 80, 100. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, oh, it's, it's light. The car is, is not that heavy, but it's 3,600 pounds. Oh. Hey, George, for, for someone who doesn't know what a rat rod is, I'm, I'm going to plead ignorance here. I've seen your truck. I know what it is, but mm -hmm. I mean, before I saw that, I well, heard about rat. What is a rat rod? Well, like? the rat rod, I think, is in, uh, I, I heard in 1920s, the kids work in the farms, they want to have a car and they can't. And they start to take in pieces that tractors, trucks, they put together. That's, I read this, it, they become a rat rods. So, so, so it goes back, like a it goes back that or yeah, the yeah, the, yeah. yeah, the kids in the farms, you know, they, they want to buy a car. It's so expensive and they, they start to just uh, Frankenstein. So it's like you know, the DIY but, thing. It's like yeah. whatever you have laying around. Whatever. And, and, the, and, the, and the nicest stuff about that, you don't buy new things. It's right. Everything is, is Repurposed. scrap. Repurposed. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. a scrap. green car. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. very you, you go down to LA and uh, it's a scrap metal there and they you buy by a pound. And uh, whatever you look and it looks cool, you just buy it. It's cheap and you can mm. just cut it, That's modify cool. it. And That's crazy. Is yeah. this something that started in the U.S.? Or another country. Yes, and no, in U.S. Okay. And uh, I was mentioning about my the bed, the, the truck I covered the bed is is pallets. It was I found in the oh, street. 
cool. I grabbed the pellets and I cut it and I bought it there. <laughs> and so, I, yeah, when you look at it, you just see the wood going across. Yeah. Would you have a hydraulics underneath or what's No, it's air, airbags. Airbags. It okay. com comes with the airbags. So that's a more comfortable ride in the back. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. You need to ride one time with yeah, me. I would love that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Look forward to that. <laughs> right, so, the military, you got this monster military truck. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, literally, the photo I've seen, it's almost the size of your The military the truck. House. Uh, when I was in army back home, uh, I drove trucks, just trucks and amphibious. And uh, when I got over here, my dream car was a Humvee. And I start when I got one point, I got the money to buy one. I start to look at Humvees, and uh, we have back home the M35s. You know, now they retired. They took a Mercedes, took it over, and, and everything is Mercedes and Vemo. And uh, and uh, this M35, Bob, the, guy, the, the company in Boys. Idaho, they cut it, cut those and make a street legal because some places you cannot drive six by six, you know. And uh, I was looking at Humvees and this comes up and I look at it and I love it. Big, they have Oshkosh wheels and, and it's, it's bobbed and it's, it's lifted. And I started to talk to the guy and the guy was upset because uh, he got married in the bar condo and the HOA sent a letter to him. He cannot have the truck oh, at the no. HOA. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, I told him, I said, I really love your truck, but uh, if you love your truck, you should move out. <laughs> yeah. Not another place. Because I'm not going to sell that truck. Too. Yeah. And uh, and he has a little car collections, like 80 cars and stuff, nice cars. And he said, no, it's time to go. And uh, I start to talk to him and I make uh, friends, make an offer to him. Like uh, some friends make an offer and then we got in the price. Took almost two months to find someone to haul that car from Indiana to LA. So it was oh in God. Indiana. Indiana. That's wow. where it was. Yeah. Wow. And the guy was really nice. He said, look, uh, he got in his dad's yard. He said, it's no problem. When when you find someone, I get at one point, I took my ex-partner and partner I had before in the business. I took him and said, you know what? Let's let's go to Indiana and drive that. Well, I was about to say, all you do is call up the National Guard and say, hey, when's your next convoy? <laughs> when, uh, yeah. When <laughs> that, you have a, tag along. We have a convoy to California. <laughs> yeah. and you can join it. Totally. <laughs> And finally, one guy with a low boy, he has to bring some sprinters, and he missed one spot. And he found my ad in that because you, uh, what the companies does, they put in a computer for truck drivers. They log in and see what's going on in shipping. And this guy look and say, your truck fits. is nine is nine foot long, is uh, is smaller than a big sprinter. And we deal with him. Is it wasn't that expensive, I, I imagine, because he brings the sprinters and I fill up his gap and and help me. Wow! So nice. that's how you got it. And uh, another funny thing, it was I always go to bed nine thirty, ten o'clock, and that that Sunday night, I was midnight sitting by the window and look it out, and she's like, "What are you doing?" I say, oh, I, "I can't, I can't sleep tonight. No, I don't feel like sleep early." And uh, I'm waiting for the, oh I bought a truck because we mentioned about a pickup truck to, to hauling stuff in the houses oh my pickup truck I, I mentioned just got it here and that guy comes with a big um, freight liner with a low boy that fits like a six cars on top took the whole street <laughs> oh, and unloaded that at one in the morning. Oh, Some wow. neighbors comes out and see what's going on because a big military truck is is <laughs> oh. dropping at the front of the house. And what was your, but your wife knew it was coming, right? No, no. And she was, what are you doing? At a... And after after two years, if I mentioned to sell that truck, said, you can sell everything. You're not going to sell the military truck. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh. And up in the boys today, uh, now the summer, I, I take the cabin off the top. It's like a big jeep, and the boys, oh, the boys, they want to drive. Them. Oh, I drop them, in, I drop them in the school. The ladies just look it up. <laughs> nice. It is a really cool looking. Yeah, thing. no, it's, it's, I, I, I nice. love it. Are, yeah, are, are your it. neighbors afraid of you now? Because they, they, they no, they, that's they the thing. They, the labor, no, the labors love it. I was thinking they're gonna hate it because well they're gonna have to love it because they can't be enemies yeah. because you've got <laughs> no. military equipment. No, who knows what else you got? The another amazing thing in that truck, the the engine is multi fuel and you can run in everything. I run in a waste oil. Yeah, for years. That's and uh, if you add another tank, another fifty gallons, you can go a thousand miles, Ooh, non stopping. Yeah, they made they made to last. They yeah. use those engines and boats, pumps, generators. And the trucks. Oh, wow. back in Vietnam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, since you got nice neighbors, why don't you go out and buy a tank and just say, "Hey, you know, this is neighbor, you know my neighborhood watch right here." He's tried. Two dreams, yeah. <laughs> two two things in my bucket list is the Pursang, 
Yeah, the Persang. You know, the Persang, the Bugatti Persang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And my military vehicle, I drove the uh, MVMO. The, the snake is, is the career tool back home. is a 6x6 six six amphibious. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that one is, is in my bucket list. It's, it's, it's not expensive. The problem is to bring it here. Yeah. It's, it's like a 30,000 pounds vehicle. Wow. Jeez. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. So, so you two ha also have another vehicle in common. You each have a Morgan three wheel. The Morgan, the Morgan. George is the mechanic. Talk, talk about the Morgan. Tell them how we got the Morgan. How we got we. Oh, how we became friends and all that. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. Tell, right. tell that. You guys became yeah. friends because of the Morgan. Because the Morgan is yeah. a love, oh. lover. The first fight. He was mad with me. No, tell. tell well, we, but, um, the last <laughs> time I was on the show, I touched upon it that we both um, put deposits on them two years prior to getting them and didn't know each other no they promised six months oh I, yeah they yeah everyone promises something <laughs> so we get them and you know I'm, I'm at supercar sunday and i'm like who else I, you know i i am the the only guy in southern california with the morgan i know i am and george <laughs> comes and then george comes was that, like, oh was my that god blue morgan yeah dennis told me man you are so you such a unique person yeah, you I are got the, the same only thing. one that can have this <laughs> yeah so i'm like who the who is this guy and then, you know, he was walking around going, who is this guy? We finally met at the Morgan Rally. And if you've never been on a rally with Morgan owners, I t um, imagine a bunch of really older people um, suddenly getting in a car and looking 20 years old while they're in the car. As soon as they yeah. get out, they're older again. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no he, he, he forgot to mention, you remember the movie Step Brothers? Yeah, yeah. We, we, that's what they met. We met like this. We look you know, same yeah. hairstyles. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we look at each other. So how 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 you we, have a Morgan? We are. We are why, sexy why you bought a Morgan? <laughs> yeah, I'm the are. only guy with a Morgan. I'm the only guy yeah, with a Morgan yeah. with a shaved head. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and then our friendship was solidified on this Morgan. Yeah, nice. Um, he made the mistake of bringing his ex-wife with him. And that was funny. Tell it. She was, oh, she was in a mean mood. She wasn't an ex-wife by then, though. No, no, she was newly breastfeeding, and she was in a mean mood mm. because, according to her, George forgot to put the batteries in the pump. Oh, and you know, I did it as as I know from a breastfeeding <laughs> woman. You no, know, she, it, was, it's, she was hurting. It gets she was quite uncomfortable. She was that's, hurting. She was hurting. But she, that's she gave. Thing. She it gave the thing. But yeah. I put the batteries. But she gave to me one set of batteries. But the pump has another set oh. of batteries was missing. Yeah. Well, yeah. So she's yelling at George, and I'm starting to get a line in the restaurant ready, so you know all of us can take a mouthful, you know, and relieve Monica's <laughs> pressure. It's nutritious. <laughs> You know, this is the first breast milk ish, uh, you know, conversation we've had on the show. And yeah, yeah, Beth yeah. is pretty quiet. Right? That's, why, that's why I'm back. In Thank her you, defense, Craig. in her defense, she was lovely and feisty, and in in, in being a new mom. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'll she, just say that right she, now. I, I, yeah. No, that's hurting. That's so hurting. And a woman hurt. Oh, yeah. uh, it was pain, but I had the solution yeah. for her. Yes, of course you did. So of course George was laughing because that, that was a good solution. Yeah, no, yeah, I would say relief really for some pressure too. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, from there, we both looked in each other's eyes and knew yeah we were going to be friends he say he say he say he say <laughs> george, george he say george i like it more now well, <laughs> I, I knew what you were going through <laughs> I, I was going to ask you I mean, you have these beautiful sophisticated cars i know that you work on all sorts of cars including beautiful sophisticated cars do you have big truck and rat rod envy because of george and all the things that he has you've got a great collection he's got a tremendous collection as well yeah i um no i do not envy the rat rods i respect them but um i can't do it oh, i can't okay. do it i need everything so perfect okay and my shine yeah the, <laughs> my, my stuff you need to be a mechanic and a driver and a thinker and a, and a, and a prayer a lot of hope <laughs> you guys got a yin and yang thing going channel on. aristotle yeah. with a cow hoof yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well said. I, I get that because helm you know helm likes to go slow and everything perfect and i'm absolutely not i want to go fast See, yeah every saying. yeah you know yeah but, um, opposites attract opposites attract i'm not attracted yeah. to you by the way <laughs> you are you're you're sexy george whoa um, I, I certainly I, you know he's gonna come in that way <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly don't see the love in Gabe's eyes for him. Like that. Uh, in, definitely in not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the love I is can't, there. I can't tell you how many times I've broken down and George has come to the rescue. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh. I, I have to mention the Mini. Oh, the Mini? The oh, mini, yeah. The that's mini, a cool car, too, yeah. The Mini was kind of 
remember the car shows down in Irvine, the Mazda building? Oh yeah, the Mazda old, um, office. The, where they start, where everything starts. Yeah, I think for me, it, everything starts there because that was the it yeah, was the it was the first one. Yep, you I need agree. to get early there. Yeah, and uh, I was driving fifty five miles to get there. I I left home at five in the morning. Yeah, because it was so nice, oh. nice cars when they got the JPS. It was you had you literally had everything, <clears throat> and it was a time when supercars weren't as prevalent. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it, oh. one day I was so. walking there and got this mini. And it have, it's for sale. And I look, that's a nice mini. But uh, when I look at eBay, there was, you know, advertising, everything advertising is, is pictures. And, and, and things you write there, it was a bad pictures. Really bad pictures. You can see the guy well. And uh, I took the guy's number. The guy say it was, this was uh, Saturday morning. And he say, okay, so the, 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 the eBay ends and uh, auction ends on Tuesday. I was going Thursday to Brazil to mm -hmm. see the family. And I told the guy, I called the guy Tuesday and nobody bought it. It was a 1960 four in the country. Total restore. It's the, kind of baby blue too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The guy, the, the, his dad, it was George. He bought it from France. The first owner was in France. He imported from France to Long Beach until 2011 when I bought it. And the dad dies. Both brothers restore the car. One brother wants to cap the car. But he needs to pay the other brother wants the, wants mm -hmm. the money. And uh, I close the deal with the guy. And the guy say, well, I delivered to you on Saturday. I say, dude, I don't understand. I'm going Thursday uh, for a vacation for 15 days. Me and I'm going to burn that money. You know? And I want to buy now. I wanna, and he brings the car to me. But the guy was kind of upset. And... Uh, I talked to his friend and say, hey, what's going on? That's how I discovered. He say, yeah, but he don't want to sell the car. So hold on one second. He put it in eBay. We closed the deal. What do you mean? He, he don't want to, and I go to him. I say, dude, I don't want to pressure to buy, to, to buy the car. If you don't want to sell it, I understand. And, and, and he explained to me, his friend explained about his brother. I feel bad because, you know, I, I have some stuff and I, I'm, it's sad when someone take care and restore because he restored the car pristine. It's nice. Yeah, and, and end up like that. It's, it's kind of sad, you yeah, know, when yeah. you put your heart in something in the dad. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, I, I be straight with him. I say, look, if you want to end the deal, I'm, I'm totally fine. I will even pay for his gas, gas back because I, f I get the feeling. Mm. If something is not meant to be to you, mm -hmm. it, it, you just don't do it. Don't force right, it. Right. But uh, he, he comes and we talk before he unloaded the car. And he unloaded the car in that day and... Uh, I discovered years later. The only thing I did it, uh, I painted the white top because it's the it's the looks model and the mirror on the right side. That's the, the only things they added. Years later, I discovered from uh, um, what's the Mini Mania, uh, Arizona. I think it's the company Arizona. They sell parts for Mini. It was only four in the country. Wow! That, because it's 19, so that's how you found out. Nine, nineteen sixty. The guy told me when I give the VIN number, when I told this nineteen sixty. Oh, can be nineteen sixty. And I say, why? What happens? Says, I have two. It's only four in the country. <laughs> and I give the VIN to him. I say, his years 1960. Want to sell it? I say, no. no. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't call you to sell. I call to buy parts. Yeah. I need to buy stuff. And that's what I discover. Wow. Huh? And uh, I been with that car since 2000. Uh, wow. Have you ever heard from the the guys you bought it from? Have you ever? No. No. Never. No. Never. No, okay. never but if never, you ever no. thought of selling this again, you would go to them first. I probably will. Because that's talk, what you. That's talk, the kind of I will try to the guy this. because I have, I have, uh, I have their address in uh, in because a pile of invoices. Mm -hmm. Probably, mm -hmm. probably I will. I I would like to keep for my kids mm -hmm. to enjoy it because they love the mini. Yeah, it's fun. You know, but uh, I think this goes back to the thing that we commonly talk about. I think yeah. you're getting <clears> at that, Beth. Was that, you know, who you buy the car from and who you sell it to matter yeah. to mm -hmm. people yeah. like you guys, yeah. uh, to yeah. people like mm -hmm. us, yeah. right? Right. So. You have to think about this stuff because it's not just a money thing, mm -hmm. you know. No, so, it, which no. wasn't for this guy, it wasn't yeah. just a money thing for this yeah. guy. It was and it wasn't, yeah. right? So it just goes. And then, how do we stay attached to that car yeah. and its history? Yeah. How do we keep that story mm -hmm. together with that car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's 
the only reason why we're here, yeah. you know, is yeah. to capture these stories, to take yeah. these stories and keep them living forever, you know? Yeah. Because I, I think if, you, if you're going to buy something from someone, like a, you squeeze and you see the person is selling without their heart, bro with the heart broken, yeah. because he needs the money, I, I don't think it's good. Yeah. And I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't have a good feeling. Well, because you know, you know what it if feels it, like if, it, if you had to do it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And another one you, you mentioned about that, it was the BMW. Remember, we pick it up in the airport. I worked for this uh, friend He's for ten years in his plane, Mike, and uh, he bought the R69 1969 BMW motorcycle in Germany. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he has that bike. One day I visit, I, I pass in his hangar. The door is open, and I start to talk to him, and I look at it like a. You can see it's black, all the way to the back is just a BMW symbol, and I says that's a motorcycle. And I look at there and uncover it. I say, Mike, I didn't know you have a BMW R69. And he look at me, did you like it? <laughs> and I say, Mike, I love it. I, that's my dream. I was looking for those bikes for a long time. But I, when you see the prices and, and to restore, unrestore, restore, it's, it's kind of expensive. You know, mm. sometimes you pay 10 grand for a dirt motorcycle, you spend 30 to restore. Yeah. Mm. And uh, this one is untouched, 20,000 kilometers. Mm. And I say, Mike... What are you going to do? Because he sold his 356, he bought brand new in Germany. And I say, do you want it? And I say, and I pull my pocket out and <laughs> I say, Mike, I, I don't think I can reach my pocket to have that money. <clears throat> don't worry about the money. Take the bike. Whoa. <clears throat> and I say, no, Mike, I, I don't like to own one. I say, George, take the bike. And he gave me the uh, pink slip. He gave me the bike and wow. every, everything. It never happens. And, and, uh, and I say, never. and I say, Mike, we need to set up one price. I cannot take the bike like that. He say, George, give me 11 grand. Oh. And I say, Mike, the bike is 25 back in that time. And I say, Mike, I, I, I feel bad. I say, George, don't feel bad. Just make it one promise. This bike I bought brand new. Just tell me, make sure you like the bike. I say, Mike, I love the bike. And me, make me a problem is you're not going to flip the bike. I say, I'm never going to flip the bike. I chased him two months to pay him. And I say, Mike, you have to come and get the money. And he say, I say, George, don't worry about the money. I say, no, Mike, I, I just feel bad. I, I need you. The bike is already my name, Mike. I say, and wow. two months later, he passed by. Oh, you have my money, George. I said, I have the envelope to him. Wow. But but that's wow. the thing. Wow. He wants the bike going in in, in some price. hands. Yeah. Right the people appreciate it. That's right. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. you know, he bought some cars like that too. He'll have some cars like yeah. that too. Almost <laughs> all my cars are from um private parties. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And you know, yeah. That caveat extends to it. Yeah, yeah. Do you want yeah. to flip the motorcycle? Yeah, I would, you know, huh? Do you want to flip the motorcycle? <laughs> no, no. I was going to say these opportunities would come up more often if you yeah. weren't just sitting in a yeah. hot tub. Yeah, I, yeah. And, I, and I, I, I know I never bragged. No to, I, I never bragged to buy the bike cheap. Right. Yeah. What I brag about it is the way I did it. Sure. Yeah. The way he mm -hmm. gave the bike to me. You know, not give it, but the way he wants to, the bike goes to someone. Yeah, yeah. there's a responsibility. Because it's it's yeah. not about. Sometimes it's not about the money. It's yeah, the, make sure I, you, I get you get something from me, it's, it, and I, I get the feeling you're gonna love as much as I love. Yeah, nice. You know, so you you were responsible for loving that car yeah. or that vehicle or that yeah. motorcycle. Yeah. So it's it's actually more than money if you think about it. Yeah, you know, it would have been easy for you to pay yeah. twenty five, thirty grand for it. Yeah, and be like I can do whatever I want with that. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah. Yeah, that eleven grand is just like a little. Mm -hmm. That's actually just yeah. a contract. No, really. you, know, no, you have to no, agree. No. Is is that is that kind of bike is is not gonna be to sell? Is not gonna be about the money. Yeah, is 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 gonna be you know. Craig, do you feel that way about three three one? Yeah, um, no one no one gets it to flip it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. The um, one um, eventually when I'm old and gray. Not like this. Although we won't know. <laughs> How can you tell the difference? <laughs> I don't know. You, you guys will be around. Yeah. You guys have long. No, I mean, I was like talking about the gray. How many? You won't see the gray. We're older and grayer, <laughs> so yeah. who knows? My yeah. eyebrows. My, my is gray too. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no. Um, someone will have to love it. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I have a family member that really hates me and. <laughs> I mean that's saying a lot because I'm sure you didn't pay 11 grand for your. No, no one, no one extends those offers. To me, take, <laughs> take, take it home, try it on, <laughs> try it on, <laughs> try it. On. It's, it's like I was, I, I was, uh, I was telling him too. Like it's tomorrow, you win the lottery. You got a, a lot of cars. Your dream cars. No, the cars I wanna. If I win the lottery, 
I want to bring it back in my uh, VW GT I have before, my VW Passat. Oh, the ones you oh, missed? Nice. The, the, the cars yeah. I have when I was, yeah. you know, my dad, because my dad has, uh, uh, when he works for the company, he can buy a brand new car, stay six months with the car, pay factory price. He has to stay six months. After six months, he sells for my uncle, he sells for friends, and he got another one, you know. And uh, <clears throat> he knows the people bought cars and put in their garage and don't drive it. It's some cars, like my first car was a squareback. He got for a guy he knows he don't use it. Oh, what year? It was uh, 73, oh, 72, those are, 73. Those are great cars. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and... Uh, I remember when uh, we comes the square back, and I can't spoil that time because he drives nice cars, and uh, I want a Carmen Ghia. Hmm. And he okay. gave the square back, Dad, I want a Carmen Ghia. He took the key from my hand. I chased him for a month, <laughs> saying, I'm sorry, Dad, I'm sorry, I want a square back. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he said, he said, you know what, the bus is better. Take the bus, you know. <laughs> and uh, Oh, man. <clears throat> what a good dad. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, true sign that kids don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> no, 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 that's amazing. I'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if we have a time to talk about one another bike. He's yeah. invo he's involved. Totally. I mean, we got. Oh, we Craig's another, involved. We have another. Yeah, no. How did I get involved in this bike? Yeah. 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 Let's, we got involved in a lot of stuff. Let's air out yeah. Craig's we, dirty laundry. Uh, <laughs> have no. Yeah. Right, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of it, please. <laughs> Mike Tauber gave us a little insight. Oh, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> That was a good. We, we did get Mike together. We, yeah. You know what? We got to just clear a center place for us. <laughs> yeah. Let us play. <laughs> my, my other bike I was looking for years it was the Honda Rune, because uh, Honda make a uh, fifteen hundred bikes in that time. And uh, I remember in, in in the time they launched, you, you just see in the TV and uh, in the rich people's hands like uh, actors and. Jay Leno got one. It Paul was Cruz the bike of bikes, six Whoa. cylinder. Yeah. You know, made, you know, no expense was spared by Honda. No, no. They do the five years, four or five years. I don't, yeah. Um, to, just to, to, get, to get in that bike. And uh, I was looking and looking. I found one in Oregon. I found one in Texas on high mileage. And this one, when we could pops up in eBay, in uh, what's the name of the place? Uh, it was 38 miles from here, 40 miles. Like uh, Santa Clarita? No, Valencia? for the uh, Valencia. Yeah. Oh, Valencia. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I look at the bike in eBay, and the price was right. In 1,600 miles, it was owned by a doctor, and I call him, and he said, no, my wife just retired, just shrinking everything. We're going to get a big motor home. We're going to start to travel. And I say, I'm going right now. He said, what do you mean? It's on eBay. He said, no, I'm going right now with cash. You come in right now? I say, and I call him. I say, dude, we have to go. I close the shop. <laughs> oh, wow. and, I went, and I went there and, and, and got that bike and that, that's one bike that really touched me when you ride when it's heavy it's, it's a Cadillac Eldorado it's, uh -huh. it's no reverse and uh, Honda wait there's no spin, reverse it's, no, it's a heavy bike without reverse I got, got a BMW some bikes have reverse now yeah have, really? BMW has a reverse it's so yeah. heavy if you, if you, if you oh, get wow. in a ramp you have to push oh. it out it has to be two three guys well, that's oh why God. these guys look so good. It's almost a thousand pounds. Yeah, they're it's, like, it's, it's almost a oh, thousand yeah. pounds. In a, no problem. <laughs> when Honda launched the bike, the bike cost to them $100,000 each bike. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. They sold for thirty, and they say every bike is sold is they lost $70,000. Oh. Wow. It's that kind of bike. Um, I'm sure someone will pull up a picture of it, man. It's, uh, yeah, Hon they call it the Honda Rune. Is so, this the one you have Rune. in the front in front for No, no, no. That's a, that's in the cover in the back. The uh, red one. What okay. years so were metallic the, red? That bike. What, what years? This is a 2005. Oh, no, mine's 2004. Only 2004, 2005. And they had two models. The the, the we have the chrome, uh, chrome edition because it comes the wheels and the, the stuff that's mine, and in another one. And uh, mine the number 573. Wow. Wow. Yeah. With so 1,600 miles. Well, it's 1,500 bikes. So for a layperson, sorry, real quickly, when I'm driving my Acura down the freeway and I see one of these, what is the distinguishing, what are the distinguishing? You're going to see the headlight is, is, is very odd headlight and the fork is, 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 uh, um, how they call the type of fork is, um, I forgot the name is, is you, you, it's a very odd bike. It's a long wheelbase bike, big wheels. The, the wheel in the back looks like a car wheel. Oh, it's okay. everything is everything is metal because usually the bike is the chrome is plastic everything is metal is there a cadillac logo on it 
No, almost. <laughs> yeah. almost. Rides like a Cadillac. You would know. You would know it's different. There's, is it bigger I mean, it's than a six cylinder? Is so it bigger than the uh, yeah. Goldwing? Though it, it's is it, the engine oh, is wow. a Goldwing with uh, dual fuel injectors, and they, they boost the engine in a little bit. Oh wow! Yeah, it's not a, it's not a fast bike. It's a torquey. But uh, it's a nice ride. So we'll, like what we'll have idea. to do is we'll have to get pictures of it and yes. post it. Yeah, with, yeah. When yeah. we when we post this. Yeah, they so. call the Hon Honda Run. Honda Run. R O O N. R U. Romeo Uniform oh. November Echo Run. Oh. Yeah. Can you fit all of your sons on the bike with you? Oh, I I take them in the field bikes. They love it. <laughs> I I, I want to get the kids beaten. No, they're not gonna have. One thing I like it is they're not going to have money for anything instead to put the parts in cars. When I talked to the guy, the Volvo yesterday, you, know, the, the, you talk about Volvo wagon, you need to see, I, I think you know the guy, in, uh, he's in Thousand Oaks, right? 14, uh, 1400 horsepower Volvo. Oh, the silver one. Yeah, that's whatever. silver. Everyone he's got an LS. And, and he got a pickup truck with a 5000 horsepower. What? I like him already. <laughs> and uh, that's you. I, bet, I bet the kid, that's that, no, you. I bet the kid that he works for. Just to fun. See? That's funny. We've all seen that. Uh, are, are, you, that's uh, are your kids um, driving now? Or how old are they? No, no. The one is, the one is uh, next month, they're going to be 11, oh, no. 7, and 4. Oh, I thought he was older uh, than 11. No. Yeah, no. But uh, he, he drives. He, he, can, oh, sure. he can drive. He can drive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's already flying. We took him up. We put him in the front seat. He reached uh -huh. the pedal. He started. Nice. Wow. Yeah. And that's when it starts. That's when, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. when they can reach the battle. Yeah. Yeah, when they reach the battle, that's, yeah, that's what they do. When I was a kid, my dad go to Germany and we, we took the car out. <laughs> and my dad got back upset. <laughs> <laughs> we find the keys. Do you find yourself um, selling cars as, um, as often as you're keeping them? Or are you just kind of collecting? You're like, Craig, you never sold a car? Or? No, it's, it's, it's like a, this uh, was mentioned. He showed me the Studebaker. We got a 1963 Studebaker. And uh, me and a friend of mine has a shop in the corner. We, My idea was to get a Bonanza 836 and put in a chassis, mm. you know, and drive around. And uh, he found that is Studebaker, and uh, when I got the Studebaker, I said, I, I can't chop this car. It's, the car is one piece, it's nice. Yeah. Someone like Studebakers, they, they will love to have that Studebaker to restore, mm -hmm. because everything is in there, you know. And you're selling it right now. Yeah, I have right. to sell, yeah. I have so, to sell. But uh, flip cars, no, no, it's not my... So you've... you've, you've of course, customer cars, sometimes they sure. offer to me, I buy... But it. for your own collection, you've bought cars for your collection <clears> and have sold them. No, 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 you haven't. No, no, just the oh. one, just two motorcycles, two V rods. I got a uh, two V rods now. One uh, I bought for my forty-four uh, birthday, the night rod. Mm. Oh, nice! I always I, I I like the V rod. It's it's the funny because I never rode a V rod, and I bought the V rod. Mm. And uh, the second V rod there was uh, one customer. He was uh, one one guy from the next door restaurant was passing by and i have a shelby cobra and he looks at the shelby cobra he has one shelby cobra and we started talking and uh he received a phone call and uh someone looking for the stuff he said i said what are you selling oh rv tesla uh, harley oh, oh harley <laughs> what harley oh it's a v-rod 2001 the launch ed ed edition and uh i say i like the v-rod and I say, how can you see that he showed me pictures while well, the bike is in, you can see it, but the bike is in one piece, it's 1,800 mi uh, uh, 1,300 miles. Jeez. I said, the bike is brand new. I say, yeah, yeah. Who who owns the bike? And it's, oh, I can say it. I say, what, what, is, what do you mean? It's, oh, I, I just selling. I just tell you, have to write a check to the office. Mm. And I wrote a check to the office. He put the name on it. And uh, when he left, I say, hold on one sec. I wrote a check to one name. I don't know who. Mm. I got just a phone number from the guy that walked by, <laughs> and, I, and I was like, should I void that check? <laughs> and uh, past 15 days, I look in the bank every day, the check, they never cash, the check, they never deposit. And I call the guy, I say, dude, uh, <laughs> I give a check, like uh, 15 days ago, remember me, he said, oh yeah, yeah, the view rod. I say, what's going on? You collected my check, and what, what's going on? And the guy say, oh no, let me call the office. <clears throat> he called the office. Next day, he tells me, hey, you have a helmet? And I say, yeah. He say, I'll pick you up. You're going to get the bike. You win. I say, what do you mean I win? They 
put the they offer in the bikes and the people just write the checks the biggest check they sell it <laughs> That's, That's a way to do tactic. it. And, yeah, wow. you and, uh, but you didn't know that at the time. But I, I didn't know who owns the bike. Right. And I went to the guy's house. I picked up the bike. All dusty. And uh, But as the bike was pristine. One piece. Just one dent in the fender. He still have the dent. And he say, he say, you're lucky. I say, what do you mean lucky? Uh, I supposed to not do that. He's supposed to not do that. But uh, he found the registration of the owner, James Cameron. Oh wow! He bought the bike brand new to ride oh, with okay. some other actors. It was his borrowed the bikes, and they pressure him and say, "No, you have to buy your own bike, dude. You have money." <laughs> yeah, and, uh, James. Oh. And uh, I have the registration. Everything is is a launch edition V rod. That's an interesting way to and James sell Cameron's. Yeah, wow. yeah. I, I, I actually like yeah. it. It's yeah. a, you know what you want it. Send a check. Yeah, and I, yeah I, I, I was I was I was on the video about the Michael Schumacher, the poor guy that you know ended up in a bad way, and um, and um, it was him, Rubens Barrichello, all the Formula One guys, the the chief mechanic in one room, and the chief mechanic was in the phone, and say you want to one, oh you want to one, and Michael Schumacher, yeah you want to one, and Rubens Barrichello is talk about talk about his V rod, same year, and he say I don't know what you guys talked about, but I want to one. And he has the same bike with 700 miles in Florida. Oh. Dang. <clears throat> they sold to them half of the price. Harley was giving the bikes away to, to launch the bike, you know, the V-Rods. Wow. And Schumacher got one. The chief mechanic got one. Another guy was, I don't remember, but he, Rubens Barrichello. Wow. He, he yeah. didn't know where he bought it, but he got one. Yeah, you're in good <clears throat> company. Yeah. <laughs> Ownership. Yeah. I, I want his luck when it comes to buying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some good luck. Jeez. Yeah. We talk about my grandfather who founded this, the museum that never was. And he came over from Oklahoma during the Dust Bowl mm -hmm. on a Harley. Wow. And we don't know what happened. I mean, he sold it, right? No, decades sure, many, ago. Many but here's what that would have been worth today. Yeah, that's, Can you that's imagine the, that the history. Yeah, yeah. The history. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know, just unpaved roads, dirt yeah. roads oh, on right. your old Harley. I yeah. see, I yeah. see guys driving them and they're adjusting the, I don't even know what they're doing, the mixture. As a <laughs> I, I guess back in time, it's just a wagon without a horse, yeah, you know, a part wagon. How long <laughs> would that have taken him, do you think? I don't remember how many days he said, but he did spend the nights behind gas stations and ditches. Oh, my God. And because um, it was safe, and then he would just gas up in the morning and then get on the road. And he said and many times yeah. he'd get back there, but he'd go behind the gas station and he'd go back there. And he was surprised how many people were already there doing the same thing. Yeah, you, and see, oh you, see, you see the bikes back in, in that time until like a. 60s and 70s they have your like the bmw and the model goose i have they give you all the tools to disassemble the bike on the road wow. Wow. that's what you have to do it back in time you have to be a mechanic and a rider they should have given you that with your jaguar yeah <laughs> they do i do have the toolkit for it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh don't get me wrong I the, the, the jaguar have a british mechanic on the side <laughs> <laughs> Can you use passenger. can you use the toolkit? That's a big question, Craig. Can I use it? Yes. Does, like Craig use it? Yes. Do you know he, what the he, tools? He can use it. He use can use the work. screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah. Phillips, Phillips or flathead. Or flat. <laughs> That's it. I can exactly. uh, take it. You know the funny thing about the toolkit you mentioned? I took him in a snap-on truck, truck a friend of mine, and I say, "You need the tour. You have to go to the tour." And say, "What do you mean to go to the tour?" I say, "Come on," and I bring him in, inside the. The snap on tool truck, and I told I told Chuck, I say, look, this guy he looking for it, because we I mentioned to him, I say, you need to have a set of tools, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, we sold to him a Blue Point, really nice set, four hundred and ninety pieces. I will never forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> and and Chuck him. was, and Chuck look at me, say, George, you are a good friend. I say, I am. Beautiful yeah. tool set. Wow. Yeah. No one told me that when you open it. All the ratchets and all that fallout, all the little <laughs> oh, sockets and stuff, all, all the sockets. So, you know, I'm looking at everything on the floor like like a kid. This, like, uh, well, how do I? <laughs> still to this day, it's been three years. And the, it, and the other tour you did it. Remember the other tour? The other tour he complains like, oh my car won't start, and I say, dude, you need a jumper. <laughs> That's and a, actually the other tour he got a nice jumper yeah back but the, the tool truck. set it's nice still jumper. in pieces after three years no and yeah I, I i put everything but nothing <laughs> you know there's it's, the right place it's metric and yeah. it's american style and it's <laughs> if if you haven't you know ever experienced this the 
the tour of the truck, the snap-on truck. Every mechanic can attest to this. I remember my first time on one. It's like going to Disneyland. Oh, yeah, you're seeing, yeah, every, yeah. Like with yeah. this tool, you can do anything you want. Anything you want to do, wow. they've yeah, got the yeah. tool. It's on uh -huh. that truck. and But they don't tell you what the price are. You're like, I'll take that. I'll take that. And then you pay, you know, $50 a week for the rest of your life. <laughs> you know, pay yeah, you know it sounds you know, so good. You, like, oh, it's only you know, another 30 bucks you, a week. Yeah. You know, you know. Uh, you know when you learn the difference about the tools you use it like a snap on i say it's not expensive and it's not cheap but uh, when you use it, the tools like in european cars and you bust the nut or you bust the torque because you're using that cheap one when you break it that's make a huge difference yeah. and you take a two hours yeah. to take one boat i agree oh, and, yeah. and you get with the right tool you spend a little bit more but you, you take it comes right away yeah nice. right and you know away. when you break a tool which i've broken plenty of I, sockets me too. or whatever yeah. and yeah. um you know the you're you're the guy in your on the truck the whoever runs the truck you have a good relationship with that guy he becomes part of your team yeah you yeah. know yeah and you're like hey bob chuck whatever um I need I need I need a new eye snapped or whatever. And you, you know, they replace it. And then the argument is is that, oh, I can go at a craftsman tool. It's like, yeah, but if you've worked with a craftsman, which are fine. The craftsman tools are fine. Yeah, no. But when you've worked with a Mac tool or Matco or yeah, Snap -on, Matco, yeah. you know, it's it's just different. I don't know if there's a way to explain it, but you're right. The tools are worth the price. If you can afford it, and especially if you work on cars as a profession, you event. should have the best tools. That, yeah. uh, and, uh, uh, well, and if and, you can and, get those tools fast, because yeah, if you're yeah, in line, yeah. they'll, they'll come by. Yeah. And they'll Talk come by. Oh, no, imagine, imagine a job to take an hour and a half and you spend two hours to take one board. Right, right, yeah. right. And you have to buy a tractor and you have to drill it and, and, you, and you pray for that come out. Yeah. Yeah. And the other good thing is to talk about the friendship you make with them. Mm -hmm. Like we become friends is sometimes... Is that tool you need the once in a year? Mm -hmm. And they say, hey, Chuck, and they say, no, you can borrow. Yeah. Oh, just nice. Take it. Yeah. Nice. Because they know. They know. They know They know what you need. They yeah. know you're not going to use it. Because I bought some stuff over there. It's sitting in the shelf. It's a nice tool set. I use it once. Yeah. Mm, and they yeah. know, I said, though, you're not going to use that in, the, in your lifetime. Just borrow. Yeah. Now you know? that I know that, I'm going to go up to him. Like, yeah. Hey, you can know, I borrow? Uh, I need can I borrow that? Can I borrow that? <laughs> well, it's funny, too, because uh, we uh, on a previous project, we bought one of the Zeus, the scanners. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was like, I don't know, it was like <clears throat> 10 grand or for whatever oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. And um, I was like, uh, I don't know if we can't afford it. We need it for this job real quick. He's like, well, I have a demo one. You guys can check it out and see if you, and, you know, we plug it in. We found out what the thing was in a matter of seconds, you know, what the problem was. I'm like, man, this would have saved us, like, days mm. of, of, you know, figuring stuff out. I was like, man, it's kind of worth it, you know. Yeah. So then we ended up All buying right. one yeah. for the project because it was absolutely worth it. And we haven't used it since. But my point is, <laughs> is that, like, if you need it, it's like, you're right. He's there when you need him. Yeah. He's reliable. Oh, yeah. And uh, with a job that's time sensitive, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. and you're working yeah. off of time, yeah. Yeah, time is Makes everything. Sense. It's so, a lifeline. Yeah, no. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's, 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 it's worth it. Yeah. You sound it's like an infomercial. Yeah. So shout out, to all, <laughs> shout out to all the Snap-on truck drivers. Yeah. yeah. You know. Their, you trucks, know, their trucks are truly amazing. The, the funny, every, every inch has a tool. Yeah. And you can go the way back of the truck, and he probably hasn't seen that tool for years. Yeah. But it's there. Yeah. Wow. You, know, no you know how you go to, uh, when you go to the, uh, the, like, Target or some shopping, you know, and then you're checking out, and you see right when you're at the register, all those little knickknacks or candy yeah. bars or whatever they got, they got the impulse same thing. that's the part where i just came pulls that's where i'm yeah. like oh yeah because like oh that how much is that one that's only 20 okay i'll take one of those take one of those yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. and they're like cool little no, tools the, you know the, but, the funny thing is that he comes one day last year he, he got these pliers and says it's a nice pliers and he say do you know what's special about these pliers i say no this looks like a pliers to me i have the same and uh he got the pliers and he, he you know what dime he got the leap from the dime you know how oh, geez, small is that really thing? He grabbed a knife from the leap, almost like better and I say, tweezers. Yeah, <laughs> and I and I say, <laughs> and that thing is strong. You can you can damage yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Huh? And I say, I like it. I use in one retainer, one uh, Mercedes. I I grab that thing and put it on like it, nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like a, it's worth it. They make good tools. tools. New mechanic for you. Ha. New mechanic. Oh, for no, you. exactly. I like the Mercedes. I definitely want to come by. I mean, just the name of, of your shop is is very unique and interesting. Is there, is there meaning Thank behind you. the the spot forty four? No, the forty four <laughs> was it was uh, my house, my dad's house in Germany, and when moved to Brazil was seven forty four, and we got the phone numbers three four three forty four forty three. Oh, nice. My dad using license plates and uh, oh, nice. And the logo, a friend of mine got a copy the Jag. 
uh, in UK logo and he put a spot, it was a jag, something, and he modified mm -hmm. and uh, comes nice. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd love to come visit. And and knowing that you have a collection of motorcycles and cars, mm -hmm. um, where does the love um, fit between the two? Do you ha is it like 50% motorcycles, 50% cars, or you have equal love <clears throat> for everything on the table? It Motorcycles, like my first motorcycles, I hide it for three months, and uh, it wasn't motorcycle; it was a moped. Oh, my right. mom was freaked out when I asked my dad, "I want a moped," because all the kids in the neighborhood they jump for mopeds, and I'm riding with them, <laughs> uh, follow them far away. <laughs> and I want a moped. I want a moped. <laughs> and uh, back in time, Bosch has remember when you take your stereo from the car? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Bosch create a box a speaker when you attach your you take your stereo from your car and you put it in your house <laughs> oh no nice. like they have they, yeah they have a, a, a two speakers in a in a i, ne I never forgot a tojo uh equalizer mm. in the lights and you take your stereo from your car and you put in that and you have your sound system o at home audio, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and my bosch gave one to my dad as a gift nice and my dad put it in my bedroom, and I love it. But I don't have a car to put the stereo. My, my stereo comes off, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and, I, say, and I love it. And comes one friend, he bought a RX-80, and he has his moped at the house. It's like a brand new moped, really nice. And he look at my stereo, he say he like it. And I say, I like your moped. Oh. oh. And I, I exchange it with a oh. moped, but I hide the moped in the building in the storage room for like three months. Wow. <laughs> because your parents had no clue. No, my dad has no clue. My dad one day walks to my bed and says, where's the Bosch sound system? Oh. And, uh, oh. and, uh, and, oh. I say, and I say, oh, uh, um, is, uh, <laughs> uh, he is... Stuttered. It say, where is the sound system? That, you know, that thing is not cheap and they give to me and uh, a really nice gift to you, but I, I like it too. He said, my dad said, I said, dad, I have to tell you something. <laughs> and my dad ends up liking. He liked the deal. Yeah, like oh. my mom gives a hell to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's cool. And my dad ended up buying an RX uh more Yamaha RX eighty. Oh nice. After two years. And I passed to my brother. And of course my dad got divorced and everything opened up. The horizon. Mm -hmm. And my dad said, I'm going to buy RX 125cc because you got it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and give the RX 80 to my brother. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how he goes. And uh, I, I, I'm i lucky to ride motorcycle with my dad who was in the 20s. Uh -huh. He has his own motorcycle and we go together and ride. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Cool. Yeah, cool. that's what's... And your dad's yeah, still around? He's still, still mm -hmm. around. And um, I not say I don't like cars. I like both. Nice. And airplanes. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. And I play in the weakness. <laughs> That's because of Craig, I would imagine. No weakness. No, yeah, he weakness. did this all before me. Oh really? Uh, no, yeah. yeah. My my family, everything. Yeah. Everybody is aviation, army, or police. Oh nice. And uh, oh. I, back in my time, I I say when uh, my friends sold everything to pay for their flying school, it wasn't cheap, and uh, I I have a good job and a good job in a Ford company, and uh, I got corrupted by the money. Wow. Because they, they don't make anything in back in time. I was making good money, and I say, I, I'm not going to change. Uh, it's, it's like in, uh, when you ride a horse and a horse winning, you're not going to change horses now, you know? Yeah. Mm. And uh, I feel bad, and I feel good, but uh, aviation was in the blood. Wow. Oh, and I start, I start to uh, helicopter training back home, and I stop it, and... And now we're back in aviation for 17 years, and Camarillo works as a mechanic. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Do you guys know the two guests that we recently had, Dana Newquist and Bruce Terry? Platypus? No, but nope. I did watch that. What a what a story. No, With the no, fuselage of an airplane oh, yeah. Yeah. turned what a into story. a car. Amazing. Yeah. 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 I want to see it. Yeah, when, when they finish it, they say about a year from now, we'll have a big party here at West Tulsa. That'll be awesome. Oh, man. What, kind, what, kind, of, what cool. kind of plane are they doing? Is it, it's, it's a an, CB plane. Yeah. It was an old the front, running, it's it's a front Republic. 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 It's a Republic. Some Republic. kind of Republic. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 1948. Yeah. Yeah. They it's, dropped the 48 flathead in the back. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. that's that's my idea to, to do a Bonanza at 36 with a club seat in the back and uh, get some small engine to put in the front and make a nice ride, AC with everything. <laughs> Gotta have the creature comforts. Yeah. <laughs> Not like in a Morgan, though, right? No, no, yeah. no, no. 
Well, you We're do. nicer. You have the uh, the real air conditioning. That's true. Air, <laughs> yeah. air everywhere. Yeah. Air cool. Yeah. yeah. You have air whether you like it or not. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, everywhere. You, now you guys go to shows together a lot. You're yeah. you're always pulling in. It's you know Santa Barbara, Cars yeah. and Hop. Yeah. You're near yeah. what is the Conejo Valley or wherever. But are you guys looking forward to a show that's coming up? Is there a show that you guys are kind of looking forward to? Because I know we're coming into summer. No, we're, 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 we're doing in the middle of the week. We we I call him. I say, what are you going to do Sunday? Yeah, because he's what? away. He has a, a coffee place in his head. And other friends of us, Blake and other friends, he has a coffee place to go. Oh, no. And we start to. You know, Helm's all um, excited now. There's, yeah. yeah, there's nothing, what nothing <laughs> like um, nothing coming up. I wish there was. Just kind of winging it. We're kind of winging it every week. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing right now? We enjoy more to like. Uh, he say, "Oh, I got a nice place," and uh, we we drive together there. We we get together there. We talk like we talk here. Yeah. You know, that's fun. You yeah. know, um, we get together. We you know, we're taking you. Malibu back. Yeah. Oh, you are. We're oh, taking yeah. Malibu back. Malibu, oh. Malibu's fun. They yeah. scared us away. You know, with all the you know, don't do this, don't do this. You can't park here. And then suddenly. We're all sitting around. We're like, let's go back. No, since no one's there, then shouldn't be a problem. And slowly but surely, it's not a problem, but it is. People yeah, are coming back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah it, and you know what? It is nice. There's nowhere. It's it's nice to go to. Where else can we take it? And it's a great drive. Just yeah. getting there. Just such a great drive to get to Malibu. Yeah. Well, for you yeah, guys, no, too. It is. Yeah, yeah. It is. is that the uh, tr Trancus? Is that, or? Trancus happens every other month whenever they whenever they say. But um, people are just going back to just go have coffee, to eat breakfast. Yeah. 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 Is this Hang country, out for a few minutes. Just yeah. Country Mart? The Country Mart. Yeah. Is this, yeah. Oh, yeah. Country, 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 country Mart. Um, <clears throat> people are wandering in there. Right. You know, there's, you know, yeah. as you come around 11 or 12, you'll see that there's a good amount of cars versus, but um, yep. they did a good job of scaring us away for a while. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're taking it back. We're, we're coming back. It was pretty big. Yeah. What, what's the guy yeah. who organized the country mark? What they do now, I think, is just that people don't know him. He has his email and he set up a date. And send the email just for people knows mm. and he knows mm. to not get a, a like massive a, crowd. Yeah, a massive crowd like before. Because once uh, remember when they start that it was a few car collectors who start trankers, and yeah. uh, people start to oh they go there every Sunday or, or every other Sunday something like that. Yeah, um, and become like a burst the bigger, and bigger, yeah, bigger, bigger. Big. yeah, yeah. Our job is to get on the list, everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All our homework. Get on that list. <laughs> One George, on that list. real quickly, I have to ask you. You've worked on so many different types of of vehicles. What would you say is one that's out right now? For somebody perhaps who's learning to drive or who has been driving for five years, something like that you would recommend as a really good car that people wouldn't consider? To a first car drive? Yeah, we'll start with that. we we'll start the first car. I think you, you can beat Toyotas. Hmm. You can beat Toyotas and Hondas. How about a Corolla? A oh, Dan's, uh, Dan's uh, plugging the Corolla. <laughs> Dan's plugging yeah. the Corolla. Yeah. yeah. The, the, Corolla, man. It's all about the Corollas. The, Got to get a Corolla hat. My dad always say because <laughs> yeah. my dad's worked for the company. This is the mentality, the Japanese mentality. They he they build the car to last. Yeah. How Their about a, how about a collector car for a young person? Mm. I I good starter. Right now I will buy a car for the '90s because all the car for '90s going up. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. All the '90 cool. cars, the Honda yeah. wagon. The, the, you're gonna yep. a few years. You're gonna oh, find yeah. a Honda wagon for less than twenty grand. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh. You're not gonna find one. Yeah, exactly. Even any thirty, the '90s Mercedes that oh, yeah. you could buy for like two, three grand for <clears throat> no longer. No, yeah. no, no longer. 10, not anymore. 10, 10, grand, 15, twenty thousand. Try, try to get a, a E90 Mercedes from '80s. Oh yeah. E one, uh, one oh, one ninety, one ninety, one ninety. Oh no, those oh, are up, oh. up. And it's, up. it's a nice ride. Yeah, yep. it's a really nice ride. Yep, it, it's a dozer. Yeah, they build the car to last. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be I would I would agree. That would be a very good first time collector type nice. one because you could nice. drive it. You could drive it yes. in the value. Useful in the value. Yeah. if you're looking at that because yeah. you know. I want to collect a car that I could drive. We talked about this. Yes. Yeah. What's the point of having a car that you, you cannot, cannot? Yeah, drive? you cannot drive. Exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. That would be like the worst car for a first-time collector is a car that you couldn't drive. That would be just be painful. Now, now the one the one question that people would have about a, a Mercedes, even this era, would be something goes wrong. How expensive it is to mm -hmm. fix. Yeah. And I mean, so that would be a question, especially if it's a first car collector car. I would yeah. say are it would they be reasonable. Well, Parts yeah, are reasonable. Okay. Lots of donor cars. Oh yeah, yeah. around. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, it would be it would be a good one. Okay. Well, you need you need to have a little knowledge about to how to do yourself. Well, that's where you I recommend it because when you see the symbol, every place you go, there. 
Oh it's yeah. A Mercedes. Oh yeah. 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 And I right forgot there. when I bought parts at that my first Porsche was a, a Boxster. And uh, I work with this uh, auto parts store, and the lady, I was joking, the lady, oh, can you give me, George, you know it's a Porsche. And I say, yeah, I know. You, know, you, know it, it, you need to have a little knowledge to do yourself to save some money, definitely, yeah. because if you if you go in the shop. It's expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. Yeah. Well, and, and Craig has a great set of tools, so now we know where to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now you know why I'm you get anything shop all fixed. the time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, com I'm coming over to the hangar to work yeah, my yeah. car. <laughs> We're at some blue points. Yeah. Greg, Greg just can't tell you where anything is. It yeah. just, you have to it's find it floor. yourself. But I can't even change a battery without it sparking. <laughs> 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 I, I did. I tried. I, and I tell him. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, that's you need horrible. to be careful. You do have to be careful. I got a, well, I got one car. I mean, just things are sparking. I'm, I, I'm not going to touch this to that, and I wind up touching this to that. And Your hair stands on end. Oh my you god, my sprouts! It, it, <laughs> I got to take care of my little sprouts. Yes, you do. So CJ, um, a couple of episodes ago, surprised us with a pop quiz, which almost gave me a heart attack. I'm not into that i don't like surprises <laughs> but i have that's good to know but i have a question that i'm gonna ask everybody here uh -oh. Uh -oh. and this is a very painful question uh -oh. very painful ready. question okay if you could only uh -oh. drive one car for the rest of your life what would it be greg uh -huh. porsche 991 okay yeah. <laughs> I'll, actually, you answered that faster than I thought. Uh, you know, I just right when I just the first thing that came in my head, and that's the first thing I saw. How about you, George? He has to be a, a daily driver. Only car that you can ever have for, for the rest of your life. So you have to drive this if you want to drive every day. This is the car you got to drive. So it's a gun to your head moment. Yes. My one ninety sixteen valve. Oh, that's, that's good. That's a good one. That's that's that's, that's car. That yeah, you got that every day. Brands hatch wheels. Yeah, lower, lower a little bit. You're yep. safe. See, and I was yeah. stuck. I was stuck. Stuck. Yeah. Stuck. OEM. CJ, I do the nine eleven. Big any, surprise. Any particular nine eleven or your nine eleven? My nine eleven. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. I respect one. I know. It. I'd never. I'm, I'm going to knock on wood here, but yeah. I don't think it would ever leave I me. I respect anywhere. that. You can't go wrong with a nine eleven. No, it's a great. No. Car. Yeah. Beth. Yeah. I think only because I miss it every single day is my little '66 Volkswagen Bug. Oh. I love wow. that car. Yeah. What color? I love that it? car. It was red with oh. white interior. Oh, it was wow. stolen from me three different times oh. and came back each time. And I sold it. <laughs> That's like I'm so. It was like Herbie. The third, <laughs> yeah. the third time it came back, you should have, it should have been essentially. You I should have never That's sold it. I know. It. Yeah, that's I know. a car you drive. You ride forever. Yes, I well, love that. And car. And this may be the opportunity because she'll bring this up so often. I'll say, well, let's see if we can go find it. You don't know the VIN, but you do I know, know the, the license, license plate. plate. So you know? it's my little oh. scar button. Because there may be somebody out, somebody out here may see this and say, oh, well, my God. Yeah. I, sold it. Not... I sold it to a friend of my brother's, my youngest brother, and I even reached out to him last year. I found him, and I, he goes, oh, I don't know. I sold that thing. I and I'll, I'll make a promise right here for you. If you find one, CJ, I will help with all mechanical. To bring it everything. Thank you. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm holding, I'm holding now you that have, is you have awesome. to find the one. Thank you. We gotta find one. Okay. Everything, we're gonna, we're gonna everything. We make everything stock, mechanical, everything, everything working. Dialed in. A, yeah. dialed in. So yeah. George, I got this Thanks. rotary right, and uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it has your number on it. Uh, so you haven't said it. What is the license plate number? SCA four four seven. My little SCA scar. Well, you still, you know, if nobody claim it, you still can have it. Do you have pictures? Yes. I need to have pictures of it. Yeah. Do you have lots? You need to put that so on. any VW guy pictures, yeah, watching this show, please, please, I yeah, bet you exactly. We got those pictures. SCA forty four. Get a VIN number. Uh, yeah, I want to see you driving that car. I do too. Thank oh, you. We're gonna, that's a cool love. product. Okay, now, now it's a mystery. Okay, so you got right, that's a cool I'll product. You get the VIN number for Helm. the picture. Yeah. She has pictures. But I don't know that I have interior of of the engine. And all you know, I, I which, which no, color? You know color? what? You know what? It, I wonder if the DMV would have a record of the VIN number from the old license plate. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. When should. I first sold it, if you can, no, probably, that. probably right now nobody claim it. Trust me. No, I, not about I can, claiming it. I have a friend who oh, yeah. can fill up a paperwork with that plates, and they're gonna come back to you. You pay the fees, you get your plates back. Wow. But we, but. Uh, but you want the car. The car. Who's gonna? <laughs> who, who's See, gonna I, don't, I don't know who has the car. We don't know. No, no, but uh, they when they when they transfer, they, right, they lost right. the plates because the plates belong to you. Oh, well, the plates is a customized plate. Yes. Oh. If you if you don't claim it, it's still there. Beth, do you have any of the old yeah. registration? 
I or, think I do. The, if you and do, I, oh, the VIN's oh on there. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. I so, think I oh. do. I've looked, but I, I need to look deeper. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah. CJ yeah. is the investigative reporter. Yes, I know. Yeah, CJ, we need do a, your a, job, a, buddy. It'll be a great pro- <laughs> West Coast <laughs> Tulsa project. That is a good... Yes. That is That's a, a West Tulsa project. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Seth, Seth, you hit on something, because um, the museum here. Oh. It's time for you to make the first West of Tulsa rat rod. Oh. Oh, that'd be cool. It's not going to be with my bug if I. Craig, we got to have yeah, that well, more often. What would this? But make? I love we, the idea well, of using things. Well, like we can make we can make the bug a slipper. <laughs> we can get a seventeen seventy six a rat rod yeah, bug. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, three eighty eight transmission. He can he can go along, along with the nine eleven. If we'll just oh, make, we'll make sure it's all air ride best. So we need a, a, we need a real <laughs> rat rod <laughs> with AC too. With AC, with AC. AC. Wait, that's one does that I mean, a rat rod? Instead of a horse hoof, it's going to be a cat paw for the ship. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Oh, are real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god, can they do that? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I think I think we we dump in CJ's a lot of stuff. A lot of responsibility. Right. Oh, just, just uh, look at us. What are you guys doing? Right. Okay, before we get to part, how what would be? I already know, but what I already would, know. Yeah, I know. What, what is it? What's your car um, that you only drive? Newer, I mean, for for the I, for yeah, the rest uh, of your life, a W two twelve um, E sixty three wagon. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no. Because I know that would serve all the purposes on the functionality. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's a newer than what I have on my yeah. classics, yeah. and it's you guys are yeah. so practical with your class. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Corolla. Yeah. Let's go. This is gonna surprise you. I'm well, sure it will. Anything my, other than a Corolla? I mean, will my black me. 1984 Rabbit GTI. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. That, that Rabbit. Was a I love that. You know? I, 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 I had nice. a Rabbit. Oh, I got a. Oh, that is. Nice. I gotta ask this question. Did it have the red trim? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. I gotta ask. I have a 1984. Uh, uh, what well, they call Go in Brazil GT. Yeah, and uh, my it, it comes with a 1.8 engine, and mm-hmm. uh, it's four speed, but it's a long. Uh, they call the uh, throw. Cambio Longo. This is a long uh, gear. It's a tall shift. Yep. And my dad put a 2.0 engine back in time. Oh, wow. uh, wait, Dan. Is, yeah. Dan, I gotta ask that GT. Why? Why? That's- yeah, I would. Well, first of all, I would never peg you for a rabbit guy but why that, 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 awesome. that car in its era was the most fun car i've ever driven yeah like no, 100 horsepower was, but it was light no, it yeah. was oh, i love that i remember in high school i used to our buddies we just ditched school and it, hopefully my mom was not watching <laughs> uh we do it no but that was like the car we always ditched school because it's you know top down or whatever but i mean i i agree but i just it, it, it actually had a little exhaust note i mean it was fun it was fun, yeah. to, fun as hell no, the square vw back that. in the day were like the coolest yeah. i thought i love especially the jetta oh yeah the sots corrado Rocco's. Yeah. yeah, those were yeah. the, the VR cars to have in yeah. high school. They yeah. to aspire to. We, we never got the Corrado in the United States, did we? That was a European. No, no we had no, it. No, we, we had it. We had the Corrado. Yeah, yeah but not, not the newer ones. The yeah. Newer ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And there's a really nice car. And yeah. then the, the other one is the GTI W12. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. You know that? I, yeah. I love that. And that the Scirocco went away. We had the Scirocco then. Yeah, it went they away. kept doing right. the Scirocco in like, Europe. Was there a wagon? Yeah. Scirocco yes. wagon? Yeah. So I remember borrowing that mm-hmm. from a neighbor for one of my college exper- experiments or projects. And he had uh, um, the roof, right? The sunroof. And we were shooting outside that sunroof. There were like three of us. <laughs> oh, that's but cool. it was a fun little ride. And wasn't it, it, wasn't yeah. it called a, f- a fox? Yeah, the Fox here. Fox. Yeah. Yeah. Fox was the wagon. Yeah. That's yeah. Back, back home is the Voyage. 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 Yeah, that sounds so Voyage. I, 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 yeah, sold Voyage. My, my, I sold that beautiful bug to buy a Fox. Uh, really? But the, that's but kind of a cool a wagon. No. Though. A wagon, though? No, 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 no. It was a sedan. A sedan. But yeah. But was that, in fact, was it because of the kids? No, I was, CJ and I weren't married yet. Well, no. Well, but I remember the car. We were dating. You oh, had it yeah, in Palm Springs. Yeah. And so she had a sunroof. We don't want to talk about this okay, part. We had right. just gotten married. All I know is I got wet. Whenever it rained. <laughs> I forgot about the monsoon. Oh, and I had the sunroof open. Flying Uh-oh. down and hit Uh-oh. me in the head. <laughs> and it was two in the morning. I said, oh, my God, I left the sunroof open. You know, you know about the sunroof? All my dad's cars, he never let us open the sunroof. <laughs> Oh really? And I say, Dad, you know the sunroof is meant to be open, open and closed? <laughs> they say, I don't want to get a leak. Yeah, that's oh, right. I don't want to leak. The weather seal. And I say, and why you guys build a car with a sunroof and want to get leaks? I say, I don't want to talk about it. Just leave close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knew better. That's funny. That is good. <laughs> that's the thing. That is oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, guys, it's been so much fun. Thank you for coming in. No, you're very, um, you, um, thank you for having. Yeah, it was, and it'd be like, 
I'm not Laurel leaving. and Hardy. Hardy. I I'm knew not leaving. Leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're glad. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Man, it probably looks like I'm doing something. Well, <laughs> when, when he gets you, why do I have a, his white jacket? He feels comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Seat belt. Yeah. I'm <laughs> still, yeah. yeah you, you guys are throttling me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, I have his seat at the shop with a seat belt. They say, Craig, feel safe. Put your seat belt <laughs> down. There's nice. always an image with Craig <laughs> throttling you. We need, um, we need, we need to send a picture of CJ this week. You sitting here with. with your seat belt. <laughs> Do you have a seatbelt in yeah. your hot tub? <laughs> no, no, no. I should though. Man, that would be something. <laughs> That's for another show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about it now. No. <laughs> Well, we all have our mission now. I know. We have to go out and get our dream car, right? That's right. We yeah. don't have it already. Yeah. yeah. Go and yeah. Find her wait, wait, wait. Did you answer the question? Did you no, he didn't question? answer it. Oh, oh I did not. Uh, uh, it'd be an F-150 Ford Raptor. Oh. oh! Out of all the cars, yes. Oh, no, wow. for, oh but, but the yeah, only no, car, no, 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 no. the no, only car for this for 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 two reasons. One, I can go anywhere with it. Two, <laughs> it's an EcoBoost. I can it can build a ton of horsepower in it, so I can go fast and go anywhere I want. Yeah, that's the car I would drive every day. That's okay. only one car. Yeah, no, only one car. But, yeah, that the would. one thing. He, in that car, you don't need to do anything. It's just put a gas and drive. We cars, we choose it. We have to work on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's smart. But we all, know, we all know you, George, so you can. Oh, yeah. Right. We're, getting <laughs> you. We're hoping. That's right. Poor, I am an George. F 150 driver, so I do respect your decision, but a Raptor. Yeah, the yeah. Raptor is nice. Yeah. I, I I've have always a liked it. A Raptor. I know it's total overkill, but you know what? I don't care. This is my only car I could ever yeah. have. But you're all about yeah. overkill, game. That's, I am all about your middle name. Absolutely. And you know, funny funny thing enough is that the F 150s, I don't know if you know, this or not but they have horrible leaking roofs the the panoramic roofs they leak they're very really? they're yeah. glorious yeah I yeah I, 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 I but i, I but that. i gotta have one i have to have sunroofs so i'm just one of those I, guys they're really you know nice. what? I, uh, mine doesn't have a sunroof so mine will never leak but i totally get that especially when you got a twisting yeah. piece of metal it, oh, that, yeah. that's yeah. one thing i'm not doing the shop i don't open convertibles and i'd not touch the sunroofs yeah oh. yeah well, then, well, I tell, now we know, I tell, now I tell, we know why i tell the customers like when they drop the cars they say hey your your top working oh yeah just to let you know i'm not gonna touch it <laughs> oh, because if you're not open yeah yep yeah so when i I'm get not gonna touch you, it when i get mad at you now i'm just gonna open all your sunroofs uh, okay. <laughs> why, why i mentioned <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna and it. you tell the customers to blame your dad right yeah, yeah. oh yeah that's why I you tell, won't touch I tell. It. no it's funny the the four mustang that comes in a manual he said your car is not a hundred percent waterproof hmm. the convertibles mm-hmm Oh, yeah. really? I showed to one customer. Oh, I got a water. They said, look, you tell Ford. I, I don't know. Oh, if, it, they, if they don't fix it, how come I'm going to fix it? I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and a, the, one of the problems when the, when the, when the top is start to make some noise when you mm. attach to the windshield, yeah. they tie. When you tie, you bend the lip. Mm -hmm. uh, the the rubber lip is for the water goes out and when you bend the lip the water it opens goes in mm -hmm. oh yeah so you fix it one problem and get another one mm -hmm. you know what a mess that's why you don't touch him no I don't touch don't him mess. I won't touch him yeah I won't touch him. now I have to watch him to not touch him <laughs> <laughs> Greg, don't touch, touch it. I'm yeah. touching. He's, he's yeah. totally yeah. touching it. Yeah. I'm he's touching touch. it. Touch. <laughs> All right. So if, if so if you don't have a sunroof or a convertible, go to see George no. over in spot four. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. All right. <laughs> yeah. George, I'll, I'll try. I'll try to help. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in, no, guys. Very, Thank, Thank you. you. We'll have Maybe you back have on us here, here again. Yeah. Talk about more of your adventures. Thank yeah. you. I, I right. will make some adventures. Just yeah. to, I know you. Yeah. Now we're going to make a wild thing. Oh, yeah. About yeah. <laughs> Craig, our field reporter. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? I've got a field and I'm, I can report. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't forget, like... Subscribe. Follow, like, subscribe, boy. Wow, yeah. Craig's Craig uh, like, helping you out. Follow, <laughs> yeah. Subscribe. Uh, go check out our YouTube channel thank you <laughs> yeah and again our tip line page go to our website westtulsa.com click on the tip line page fill it out we'd love to have you in studio maybe we'll even go to you craig and george will come with us yes How's yeah that? So i will ready. contact us on the tip line i will of course nobody's knows what i'm saying because nobody's made it this far into the show <laughs> hey um i'll, cut but I'll say part. it anyway i'll cut this part in the front of the show <laughs> okay, all right clip wait, it. all wait, right wait, george has something else to say what's up we, we got a, we got a friend chris a uh, rally driver you're gonna like to have him here Oh, he's, oh he's, nice. absolutely! He's uh, he's he's putting together a uh, Mini Cooper with a uh, uh, 
Subaru WRX oh, powertrain. Heck yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, gonna, cool. You're definitely going to cut that you're, part. You're, you're you guys going to like yeah. it. He yeah. totally piqued <laughs> so his interest. Yeah. So if yeah, anybody's made it to this yeah. far in our show, that's we got a surprise. And he has yeah. a Beetle. He does. He has a Beetle. He's oh. working on it. I'm helping him to work on it. Yeah. So we got you, you guys going to like to talk so to So many him. guests. And he's British. He's British. He's got the accent, CJ. Yeah. Then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a thing for CJ? That's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we, we might I, only, I only let CJ watch, watch British shows. Yeah, I mean, I can hear it from the other room. <laughs> BBC only. Yeah. And we'll have to put up subtitles. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you west of Tulsa.